وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Sahaba are before Fatih Makkah 
or they are after Fath Makkah. For all of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Wa kullam wa'adallahu al husna. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised husna for all of them. And you can read all the major tafasir. You will find that husna means paradise, jannat. So Allah has promised Jannat to all the Sahaba whether they became Muslims before Fath Makkah or they became Muslims after Fath Makkah. Because definition of Sahabi is the one who sees Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the sight of Iman and he remains on Islam and he dies with that faith. He is Sahabi. Even if he did that for a minute, that he became Muslim and then death came. He became Muslim. He saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa with the sight of Iman and death overpowered him and he passed away. So he's a Sahabi. No Wali, no Ghaus, no Qutb, no Abdal, no Kalandar can reach his station. So no doubt, those who became Muslims after Fath Makkah, you know, if someone says now, they became Muslims because of A, B, C, D reason, they were not sincere in Islam, then how do they know that? Can they see what is in the hearts of the people? Are they claiming that they have been given the knowledge of unseen? And that too what happened 1400 years ago. So people must be clever enough to understand these things. This is not something new. This used to happen to ulama ikram always. And who does this kind of things are the johala, the ignorant people. Hazrat Imam Shafi'i radiallahu ta'ala anhu he sums up very beautifully and he says inna nahnu Fadalna Aliyan fa innana Ravafido bit tafdile in the dil jahli. That when we express the virtues of Hazrat Ali Radi Allah Talano, because of us explaining the virtues of Hazrat Ali Radi Allah Talano according to Jahils, this is the word that he uses. Dil Jahli, according to the Jahils, we are Rafzis because we praised Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala. And then he says, Wa fadlu abi bakrin idha ma dhakartuhu rumito bin nasbin in the dhikri lil fadli. He says, and when we explain the virtues of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Then they accuse us that we are Nasbis. 
So the Jahils, this is the work of Jahil according to Imam Shafi'i radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Whether they are of today or they were of centuries ago, they were there. They are not new. So they announcing their jahala, their ignorance with big titles that they carry. And now listen what Imam Shafi'i radiallahu ta'ala concludes. He says, Qalu ar-rafdatu qultu kalla mar rifdu dini wala i'tiqadi He says, those jahils, those ignorant people who call me Rafzi, I replied to them, never, hasha wa kalla, never, my deen and my aqidah is not like Rafzi's because I'm 100% Sunni. So, I mean, if people call me and you Nasbi because you are defending Sahaba Ikram, so Alhamdulillah, we are in the line or behind, rather, Hazrat Imam Shafi'i radiallahu ta'ala. We are getting his blessing. This matter we following Imam Shafi'i Rahmatullah as well. And uh, it is a place of saying of Imam Shafi'i Rahmatullah if you can mention it for the, uh, for the viewers as well. Uh, that if um, uh, you know, loving the Ahl Bayt is, uh, is riffs, then I am a Rafsi. If you just can elaborate on that, it will pass. Yeah, he said it's actually part of the same poetry. إِنْ كَانَ رِفْدًا حُبُّ آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ فَلْيَشْهَدِ الثَّقَلَانِ أَنِّي رَافِدِي He says that uh, if loving Ali Paak of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is rafidiyat o shi'iyat then all oh, both the walls become witness that I'm a Rafzi. It means that since loving them and praising them is not Rafzi yet, so I'm not Rafzi. So some people take this share. See, Hazrat Imam Shafi is saying that I'm Rafzi, but they forget that. He says, if they forget that if, if loving Ahli Bayt is Rafadiyat, then I'm a Rafadi. But the fact is that loving Ahli Bayt is not Rafadiyat. So the result is I'm not Rafadi. I'm Sunni Sayyul Aqidah. In other words, call me what you want. Yeah, call me what you want. Say what you want. I, I love Sahaba Ikram. I love Ahli Bayt. So don't force me to say something that you want. So the, the, the circumstances at that time. Gigi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's. G. No, you don't you you don't use that for sahaba. There were many individual sahaba who suggested Hazrat Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala not to go. So there is no such thing that because the what was going to happen in Karbala that was a future event. So, 
it happened they were on the way but the whole plan was to reach kufa and take bayat from people and remove yazid so many sahaba who knew that yazid is a bad person is an evil and uh, he will hurt hazrat imam husain radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and uh, his family so they they did advise him but hazrat imam husain radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was at a different level he was on maqam e rada he knew why he was going there Well, say first of all, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is powerful over everything, and uh, He knew that Ahl Bayt are being oppressed. Why did He not order the calamities to be removed? so the first object, objection must go upon allah subhanahu wa taala then it should go on the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is also alive and who is mukhtar kul and what about his mother khatun e jannat things don't work this way it's the, it's the divine plan and hazrat imam husain radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu from the childhood knew that he is going to be martyred because all members of family they knew it was being discussed in the house he grew up hearing that so there was no doubt in his can mind ji can we say that he was pleased with the pleasure of allah that's what maqam e raza is that whatever is decided by allah i'm happy with it like hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam you know when he was being put into the fire of namrud and uh, while he was coming towards the fire jibril ibn al salam came and he said i'm here to help you and nobody can doubt the help of jibril ibn al salam what answer did he give i don't need your help then he said okay ask you allah subhanahu wa taala to help you he said no i won't ask because my rab knows in which state his khali is So if he wants to help me, he'll help me. Otherwise, I'm pleased. I think your sound is cutting, Shahid. Uh, 
reason why I'm just speeding through some of the questions which is about the same few minutes. Uh, the program of this also has to travel and it's almost through the field. Uh, we just have a technical difficulty there. Uh, the next question that we have is uh, what is the position of the regarding the Aqidah about the 12 Imams and what if someone calls them Masur? 12 Imams of ahl bayt are our Imams as well. Imams, they are our leaders. In that sense, they are called Imams. They are our leaders. And they are called imam, Imams of ahl bayt because they are from the family of ahl bayt in that sense. Otherwise, the names are in our shajras, in our salasil, and we believe they all, all of them were al sunnah wal jama'ah, and uh, they were pious, they were great personalities, they offered great sacrifices for the sake of Islam, they established and strengthened the deen, so we love them, we respect them, but none of them were masoom. Masoom is infallible. Only Prophet and only angels are infallible. Other than them, nobody is inf infallible or masoom. Yes, pious people are mahfuz. Mean they are protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah protects them from committing sins. So word masoom is exclusively, or the status of being masoom is exclusively for the prophets alayhi salam and for the angels. صلي على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب الحشر وحشرنا مع الأبرار يا إله العالمين whatsoever good deeds we have performed in this online program Grant us thawab according to your generosity, not according to our recitation. Amen. And whatever thawab you grant us with your fadl, we present that thawab in the court of your beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with his sadaqah and wasila to all the Anbiya Alayhi Wasallam, Sahaba Ikram, Tabaeen, Tabar Tabaeen, all Azwaji Mutaharat, all awliya Allah, all believing men and women who passed away, who are living. Ya Allah, we send the sawab to all of them. And khusus bil khusus, particularly we send the sawab of all these good deeds 
in the court of Hazrat Sayyidina Baba Faridun Shakr Ganj. Radiallahu ta'ala. Ya Allah, Hazrat Baba Faridun Shakr Ganj. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu ke darajat ko buland farma. Ya Allah, unki talimat par, unke naqshe kadam par chalne ki tawfiq ata farma. Ya Allah, unke rohani فیوز و برکات سے ان کے علمی فیوز و برکات سے ہمیں مالا مال فرما آمین ببرکتین اللہ و ملائکتہ یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلموا تسلیما اللہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد مبارک و سلم صلاة و سلام علیکہ یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ و علی آلکہ و اصحابکہ یا حبیب اللہ سبحان ربکہ رب العزت اما یصفون و سلام علی المرسلین و الحمدللہ رب العالمین برحمتکہ یا ارحم الراحمین